very much, beloved writers. Nice to see you all. I am very honored tonight, and uh, it's uh, meaningful uh, to me personally that I get to present the Paul Selvin Award to Charles Randolph. Bombshell <laughs> is the story of female television journalists inside Fox News fighting the horrors of various forms of sexual harassment in a workplace culture that perpetuated the oppression of women by powerful men. Written before the advent of Me Too, the bombshell, uh, bombshell weaves the experiences of Megyn Kelly, Gretchen Carlson, and the composite character of Kayla to expertly portray how even women at the top of their game can be systemically isolated, stripped of their power, and made vulnerable to demeaning, sexualizing behavior. Charles made this difficult topic accessible with humor and heartfelt authenticity. The fact that a film on this topic was written by a man is extremely significant. We need more men like Charles Randolph to put their talents toward helping erase sexual harassment and assault. Charles wanted to get it right to honor the women. And above all, he was compelled to make men understand to mirror his own awakening. Charles has said, bombshell wasn't for women. They know this stuff. It's for the gender defensive men. The Paul Selvin Award is presented to the WGA member whose script best embodies the spirit of the constitutional and civil rights and liberties that are indispensable to the survival of free writers everywhere and to whose defense Paul Selvin committed his professional life. It's my very great honor to present this year's award to Charles Randolph. You've got the real Thank you, Gina Davis. Gina and her institute are tackling the gender gap smartly with ferocity and wit and reams of undeniable data. In fact, try this, yes. Whatever project you're working on right now, imagine Gina coming over to your table a little bit later tonight and sitting down and asking, so where are we? If that scares you a little bit, make some changes Monday morning. Do not disappoint Gina Davis. Make Gina Davis your conscience. And thank you, Gina. Thank you to my bombshell cohort, Jay Roach, and Charlize Theron, Margaret Riley, Ron, and Lionsgate. But mostly thank you, WGA. I'm, I'm very proud to be one of you. Um, I love how movies have stopped treating politics like a sacred liability. Uh, I love that Ryan gave a, every immigrant in the country a coffee mug full of empathy. I love that the scene that made me think the most this year was um, two Barbies fighting about objectification in front of a mirror. Is there a better, il better illustration of the stupidity, of literal, stupid literalism of racism? than a Nazi asking for German shepherds and getting German shepherds? No, there is not. Um, and I could go on stealing your bits in front of you, but uh, those of you who haven't left for the Baptist. But uh, let me just say the, 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 the state of our art is, is, is healthy, and, and I thank you very much for making it so. Um, Paul Sullivan was dedicated to protecting our expressive rights. I doubt he imagined that limitations to them might come one day from our own heads. And in a time of radical change, I think a lot of us are trying to figure out how we respond, how we preserve self-expression. We want movies to get a lot more diverse. Yet, we also want to keep our culturally defined sense of what makes a movie great. And we want to be able to tell any story we choose. Inclusion demands we honor other voices, and yet art requires we tenaciously trust our own. So what are we to do? I don't know, but I do know that writing is the best tool available for figuring shit out. 
So, in this time, I, I want to say let's be bold. Let's be honest. Let's be generous. Let's choose complex subjects we know for certain Twitter will get pissed off about. Let's give life to complicated characters who can't be reduced to any kind of label. And let's give them messy emotional problems for which there are no easy answers. We stand on the shoulders of Patty Chayefsky and Nora Ephron and Mila Shorman. We can honor diversity and freedom. And I will go right at it if you will. So thank you. Thank you.